Penguins move in a really weird way, especially for a bird. They have this very upright posture, kind of like a human, but they also have very short crouched legs. So when they move, they waddle like this, and that looks comical to us, but it's a way of making them more efficient than they would otherwise be. It's really not clear why penguins waddle or, or how it evolved, but it is pretty clear that it has something to do with their rather short legs and their swimming adaptations, that as they become more adapted to flying underwater with their, their forelimbs, their wings, uh, they become less well adapted to walking on land and so they've had to compensate by adding in this waddling gait that helps them move more efficiently on land than they otherwise would. They're applying forces left and right as they swing their body from side to side and what's not known is how the legs do that. How big are the sideways forces on penguin legs and how does that compare to other waddling birds? That's one of the things we're, we're trying to measure, what the legs are doing. That's why we need these force platforms in the ground. My collaborators at the University of Texas uh, have been studying some very, very old penguins, pretty much from the beginning of penguindom, around 60 million years or so. And there are amazing fossils, spectacular fossils of early penguins, some of which were almost as tall as me, and different structure of their limbs, suggesting that they maybe didn't waddle as much. They're, they're living relatives of penguins that uh, do move on land more and they do fly as well. Things like petrels and albatrosses are better at flying uh, than penguins are certainly and also walk on land and they have some waddling as well so probably the ancestor of penguins waddled a bit uh, much as these other living relatives do but we'd like to know more about just what was the gait of that earliest penguin ancestor like. It, probably was a less waddly kind of gait, more efficient on land overall. When I see an animal do something weird as an evolutionary biologist, I want to know how that evolved, how it got that way. So we're trying to tie together what we know about penguin evolution with what we learn from this study about penguin biomechanics or physics.